Cactus? She's a go-go, uh, dressed in a Cactus? Oh. Cactus. Who are you? Cactus? Yes, Cactus. Cactus. What do you want? Cactus. Cactus? Cactus. 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 Hello? Cactus? Cactus? Hello? Cactus. Hello? 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 Can you hear me? Who is this? Um, this is Nancy. Nancy? Who are you looking yeah, for? I, you? I, I had a note on my call. Hello? Nancy? Hello. Yeah. Nancy, what what did, you, what did the note say that was on your car? The note said that you had hit my car in the Walmart parking lot. I didn't hit it. it. I didn't hit it. Don't say I hit it because I didn't hit it. I said. I said well, it's just you, you kicked it or you, you, ding, you dinged it or something. Yeah, yeah. Don't put words in my mouth. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. God. Listen. Um, did you touch the door handle? Where did you hit that? Because my kid, my kid uh, he thought it would be funny. He went over and peed on your door handle. Did you touch it with your hand? What? Did you touch the door handle with your hand yet? You might want to wash your hands. Yeah, hand. I had it. You might want to wash your hands. What do you mean? You wash your hands because there was urine all over it. He peed on your door handle. Is it, is it Joe? No, no. I made him write the note. That was his punishment. What? That was his punishment because he peed all over your car handle because he thought it'd be funny because he touched the door handle and it'd get all over your hand. You didn't wash it off? Well, no. That's gross. I'm not going to touch pee. This, this, this can't be serious. This can't be real. No, it's serious. You should get, get some wipes what? and wipe off the handle and wash your hands. And I'm sorry. What? I'm sorry and my son's sorry. How old, how old is your son? He's like 10 or something. Wow. What? Wow, I'm sorry. It's just... Wow, what? He, he left me out of my car. Yeah, you know, to apologize for the, um, you know, for the peeing on the door handle. Oh, okay. You don't know what kind of car it was? Are you sure? Are you sure it was my car? Oh, I'm positive. I mean, it was whatever one we left the note on. I drive a red Corvette. Are you sure it's my car? Yeah. Did you wash your hands yet? Hey, well, I've washed my hands like twenty times today, but I'm a I'm a nurse. I'm I'm a nurse. Oh, that's good. That's good. Because you don't want to be touching your hands because they had you know touching patients with pee all over your hands. Yeah, that's. The... That'd be gross. Okay. That's just. Yeah, I know that. I know that. Okay then. Oh, wow. As long as we agree then. Okay, well. All right, well, you have a nice night. You too. Thanks. Sure. Bye. Bye. Hello? 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 
practice? Cozy Cactus Bed and Breakfast. Based on the time of your call, we may be serving breakfast, making up rooms, running errands, or perhaps sleeping. So please leave your name, number, and a message, and we will return your call either later today or tomorrow. Thank you. If you are satisfied with your message, press 1. To review your message, press 2. To erase and re-record, press 3. All city telling, this is Nick. How can I help you? Cactus. I'm sorry? Cactus. Hey, car lady, what, where do you live at? Like, what state? Her name was LB. She was an actress. I feel up for expressions like Madeline's way above average. She was just a sad kid, so I couldn't help but give the girl my address. She lived in Texas, like to get messed up. Like a teaser boy, so she always got messed up. Like to get a fight with the truckers at the rest stop. Oh. Top notch in her bar was the best part. Fan of mine, someone time dropped me a lot. Said I got a few, couldn't help but reply. Chilling in her pool, squinting at the sky. Hey, baby. Hello. Hey, baby. Who is there? I don't. You called me. Where are you calling from? Me. I'm in Texas. I'm trying to. I'm trying to call my. Um. I'm trying to call my friend. Are you? Are you still my phone? What? Yeah, I've taken over your lines. You what? I, I whistled 2600 hertz and now I have control over your phone lines. What? Isn't that crazy? Okay, this can't be happening. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? I just, I just, I'm just, I'm just all. <laughs> and then it's, it's, your lines are mine. What? <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. I've had like the worst day. This can't be happening. What? Is this brightening up your day? <laughs> I don't know what this is doing in my day. Who are you? <laughs> I don't know. You called me. Why'd you call me? Because you're definitely your son peed on my car. <laughs> peed on your floor? Peed on my car. Not- <laughs> my car handle. Now you're putting words in my mouth. Paul City Telling, this is Nick. How can I help you? Cactus? What? Who? Cactus? Hello, I'll be telling you how can I help you? Who are you? Why are you on my phone? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, all I can hear is you a voice saying cactus at that time. Cactus? No, no, no. You called me. No, ma'am, I haven't called anybody. I'm at a call center. What the fuck? Hello? Hello. Who is this? Uh, my name's John. Officer John Brown. No, you're not. No, no, you're what? <laughs> Officer John Brown. Okay, I, I am trying to make a call here. Oh. I have plans to go outside. Oh, hey, Hello? listen. Wait, okay. Here, here. here's what we're going to do. All right, tell me the phone number and I'm going to call it for you. No! Come on. Just tell me the phone number and the call okay. will go through. I'm the operator. I'm calling. I'm with Quest. Excuse me, CenturyLink. We changed. Okay, we changed. 
names? It's, it's 81. I don't know if I can do this. It's 812. 812? Yeah. He might, he might get really mad. That's fine. Are you going to talk to him for me? No, no. This is this is between you and him. I'm just the operator. Oh, okay. Oh, so you so you're going to fix my phone? Yeah, I'm fixing it. And as soon as he goes through, you're not going to say anything. Oh, of course not. No, I'm no, I'm just the repair person. So eight one two. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm doing one zero eight eight. Okay, thank you for using yeah. CenturyLink, ma'am. I'm putting the call through. Thanks. You're welcome. Enjoy this Verizon ringback tone while your party is reached. Oh, God, what a redneck. Hello? What a redneck. God, listen to that ringtone. Jesus Christ. You got the third. Hello. What are you doing? Why are you calling me unavailable for? I'm not. I lost my phone. I'm available. What do you want, man? Nothing. What are Where are you at? Oh. What the hell is that noise? That noise. That noise. noise. You got me on speakerphone. 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 <laughs> Hello. Why? Why am I echoing? I have no clue. Please deposit twenty-five yeah. cents. I'll see you later. Ma'am, did you need to make another call? <laughs> what are you doing? What do you What do you mean? What am I doing? <laughs> what did you do that for? I I didn't do anything, ma'am. I'm just the operator. I just put call th- calls through. How, how How are you on my phone? <laughs> I'm not sure what you mean. I'm I'm just. I'm just working. I'm just answering the phone like I'm supposed to. Okay. I talked to you earlier about your son in my car. I hung up the phone. How are you still on my phone? Oh, no. I th- you're mistaken. I'm just the operator. The operator. Yes. With Cen- CenturyLink. Wh- I didn't call the operator. Why are you calling the operator? I didn't call the operator. How are we talking then? I didn't call you. We're, we're not allowed to call out. I'd get fired for that. I don't know. You're on my phone. How did this happen? I'm so confused. No, no, no. I, I, I'm the one who's had a bad day. I'm the one who's confused. Do you need me to place another call for you, ma'am? Um. Here, I'll call. I don't. Maybe I should make the pitch. I'll call the cactus market for you. They can help. You got who? The cactus market. Okay. Who? What market? The cactus market. You know cactus. Oh, what? cactus market. Hello? Hello. You have cactuses? Yes, we do. We have Don't plenty you see of I have prickly pear. I got the jumping cactus. Any type you like. Holy shit. That's a lot of cactus. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen. Do you call them cacti? Are you all proper about it? Oh yeah, absolutely. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna put my friend back on. All right, sounds it's good. It's important. Hello. How you doing? Thank Hello. you for calling Cactus Market, home of the cacti. We have plenty of uh, jumping cactuses to help you jump. I'm I'm not going to call you. I I dialed the wrong number. Okay. <laughs> well, you have a good night. Okay? The offer you too. Thank you. Thank you. God, don't you know how to dial a phone, ma'am? Why'd you dial the wrong what? number? You dialed the wrong number. I, I, no, I didn't dial that number. You did. I'm pretty sure you did. No, 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 you did. Um, no, you did. Thank you. How are you still on my phone? I'm just the operator, ma'am. Do you need me to call a number? Here, give me a number and I'll put it through for you. 
No, no, I can't get over you calling that number. No, I'm just gonna put the call through, and I'll I'll be gone forever. Well, I have to call the police station. You want to call that number for me? <laughs> I'm not calling the police. That's crazy. What? <laughs> it's, it's against policy. Why? Why not? Why not? You call some taxes guy. Well, it's against policy for us to call emergency services. You call my boyfriend who now doesn't think I'm some crazy lunatic. Oh, can we call him back? <laughs> no, I'm not calling him back. What was that area code he's in? That's a weird area code. I've never heard of it. 812. 812. Okay, and then what's the rest of the number? <laughs> what? <laughs> what's the rest of the number? <laughs> no, I, I can't call him back. Okay, hold on. I'll call him. No, you don't have his number. I do, though. Uh-huh. I, I do have his number. Well, what is it? Um, Here, let's see if this is the right one. Okay. Oh, God damn it. It's not working. Let me try again. <laughs> I'm sorry, ma'am. Our computers are all messed up today. I don't know why. Oh, okay. Well, that's probably a good thing. No, it's not for me. I mean, last time you made an echo and... I didn't make an echo. I don't appreciate these the accusations. Back while your party is reached. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't do no. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Georgia Clay. Hello? What? Christy. Hi, this is Kevin from the eight, from AT and T. I'm calling. Uh, I have a collect call from Christy. Will you accept Quit the charges? Call me, woman. Will you accept Quit the charges? Call me, sir. You need to accept the charges, or you're going to jail. Oh, fuck you. Hey, hey, <laughs> motherfucker! <laughs> accept these goddamn charges. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. I think he hung up. It is the right to move back Why? to the Why? Hello. Hello, this is John Hello. From, from Domino's Pizza. I'm calling to confirm your order. For three large pepperoni pizzas. <laughs> no, this ain't happening. No, listen, sir. Christy's, Christy doesn't think it's it's working out. She needs some space. No. I'm sorry. I, I, I hate. I hate that I'm the one that has to tell you this. But you know, Christy just needs some space. Hello, uh, Christy's right here. Oh, what's your name, ma'am? Is it mine? Yes, I need that for my records. I have to type it in. No, you don't need it for your records. You've been on my phone for 20 minutes now. I know, but this is this is important. It's for the records. No. How else are we going to charge you for the no. call? No. I thought you was the operator. I am the operator. Well, you can't charge me more than 99 cents. No, no. Th- this call is costing $6.35 per minute. <laughs> I don't make that today. Hey. Hey. Listen here, Skype. Ed, go hey. call me. Hey, you stop using that language around our phone. Oh, he's gone. It's okay, though. I'll call him back. Please enjoy this Verizon. No, no, no. Don't, 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 don't. Please. Oh, my God. I'm just, I, I, I'm just calling to apologize. I'm calling to apologize. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll let you go now. I'm just, I'm sorry, and I won't call again. All right, buddy. Yeah, good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See, he's a nice guy. Yeah, he seems to be. I'm bad. All right. Um, did you need to call someone else then? 
And uh, I think I'm down with the calls tonight. Uh, why? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Hold on. We'll call um, the Cactus Patch Trailer Park. No, but I, I don't want to call them no more. No, no, this is somebody else. I know. What? This is a trailer park we're calling. Why? Why not? Oh, okay. I always want to park. And a locksmith. D two four one. Test successful. Holy shit. We are unavailable to take your call. I think we just launched some nuclear missiles by accident. What? I'm pretty sure we just launched nuclear missiles by accident. I don't think that's <laughs> possible. I think that's what that message was. No, I don't think so. I think you're wrong. And, uh, you're, and I think you're a woman. And uh, what do you think you think you know anything? Just stay in the kitchen and be quiet. That's not very nice at all. I'm sorry. That just came out. Huh? It just came out. I'm sorry. It was an accident. Um, I mean, I don't, I, I don't even know more calls made, so don't you have other calls you should answer? It, it's really slow tonight, so I'm, I'm just taking care of your call. Huh? I'm, I'm just patiently taking care of your call. But, but my calls are bad. So why don't you hang up then? I did, and you got back to my phone somehow, so I'm pretty sure you taught me how to hang up. Well, no, um, if you need me, do you need to make a call? No, no, I'm done making calls. Oh, why don't you hang up then? Because that's why I didn't steal my phone. Yeah, when you hang, you have to hang up. If, if you hang up, I can still hear you. I can hear what you guys are talking about and stuff. That's that's impossible. No, for reals. We have the power. So we have. The, about you. I, I'm at. Huh? Cent, I'm at CenturyLink. We have the power here. So if I sit here, if I sit here and talk to you, like talk about you, you're gonna be able to hear me. Yeah, like hold up fingers, and I'll tell you how many fingers you're holding up. Okay, I am not that tall. <laughs> we're the we're the goddamn phone company. Well, can you get my phone bill lower? Because it's way too much money. All right, hold on. Let me let me type this in. Yeah. Okay, it's done. It's like ten bucks a month now. Oh, is it? Yeah. You promise? Yeah. Of course. And if it's not who, if it's not who I call back and tell that. Just call the phone. Like, what's what's your name? Let's do like. My name's Roy. Roy. So, you, so you see, so you are the same guy who your kids you have my handle today, my my call handle. No, no, it's just a coincidence. Well, you want to know what happened to me today? What? Yeah, please tell the listeners. I, I had. We're we're live on channel four, I, four by the way. What? Turn on turn on your channel four. While you, oh, now just tell me the story and pretend just pretend we're not on the air. On the air. Well, can we say things like sex on the air? Yeah, yeah. It's new media. You can? Uh huh. Okay. What? It's new media. It's yeah. not. It's not. Well, that, this is not, not my definition. Okay, go ahead. Am I on the air? Yes, yes. CactiRadio.com. dot com. Okay, I will. Cut. Sorry, I don't. Mean, I don't mean to keep interrupting. Okay, I'm going to be quiet now, and you tell your story. I woke up this morning. I had sex. And then I go to Walmart, and some little kid peed on my car handle, I guess. <laughs> and that's a bad day for you? Yeah. Yeah. That's what you call a bad day. Having sex and going to Walmart is a bad day. No, no, because <laughs> after my little kid peed on my little handle, I guess I just found out. I then went to work where I had a bad day at work. Oh. Well, okay, well, so Walmart's work. Yeah. Oh, I know where you work now. <laughs> this is going to go great in my, in my stalking notebook. What? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. How do you know where I work? 
You just told me. You said you went to Walmart. I didn't work at Walmart. You said you worked at Walmart. I'm a nurse. I work at the hospital. Oh, that's right. I'm sorry. My memory's not so good. Well, how would you know I worked at the hospital if I never told you that before? <laughs> you told me you worked at the hospital like 20 minutes ago. Because I oh, asked. What, when I called you what? because your friends could get my car, right? No, no. I was just listening in the call because I'm the operator. How old are you? I'm 47, ma'am. You're not 47. No, for real. No, you sound way younger than a 47 year old. 45? I was thinking more like 46 and a half, you know. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> you figured it out. Um, I mean, don't you, don't you, don't you think you should get back to work? I am working. This is what I do. I get paid for this. You get paid to talk to people on the phone. Yeah, yeah. The operator. That's what we do. We talk on the phone. Hello? It's for you, ma'am. Hello? Who is this? 7-Eleven. Hello? Um, I think he hung up. Oh, yeah, he hung up. He didn't like you. Why did he invite me for I don't know. Well, let's call him back. I want to ask if he has his product. Okay. Is your day better yet? <laughs> <laughs> it's calling up 7-Eleven. 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 Hello? Hello? Um... What kind of you guys close? Where we're at? What kind of you close? Oh, we did. Seven Eleven never closes. Oh, we don't close. What about, can I come? Can I come in your store naked? Sure, come on in. Hello. Can I lay on the counter naked? He said, "Sure." Did you hear him? Yeah, I did. What a little weird though. <laughs> So now you need to uh, get in your car and go to Arizona. He's in Mesa. What? That guy was... <laughs> the guy's in Arizona? Yeah. You just threw in that poor guy's night. No. You you made him you laugh. Naked. And it would have been you that made that ruined his night because you're the one to talk to him. He did. Oh, this is uh, another 7-Eleven. We should just call 7-Elevens all night. 7-Eleven. Oh, okay. Hi, this is Gary from the corporate Hello? office. Hello? Hello? This is, this is Cindy from the corporate office. Who? You guys, need to, you guys need to close down. What? You you guys need to close your store down. There's a, a bomb there. <laughs> no, there's not. You can't say that. Close it's, your store. It's a, it's a prank call, sir. What? <laughs> I don't know what her deal is. She's been playing on the phone all night. <laughs> He's gone. <laughs> Why did you do that for? You said something about a bomb, didn't you? Yeah. You can't make bomb threats on my phone. I mean, on my works phone here at CenturyLink? That wasn't a bomb threat. I didn't, I didn't understand what you said. That wasn't a bomb threat. What what you you said you said a bomb's on the way or something. I said <laughs> Yeah. There was a bomb terrorist on the way. There was that wasn't a bomb threat. A bomb scare? A bomb a bomb a bomb terrorist. A terrorist? <laughs> So you're saying a terrorist is on the way to the store with a bomb. Yeah. <laughs> you can't say that. What? I don't ever prank people. I don't know what to say. <laughs> okay, well, leave bombs out of it. <laughs> I think you should prank people more often so that you have more practice. 
in things like this? Well, I, 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 I lead a very busy life. I don't really have time to bring people. Um, okay. I concur. <laughs> Here, I'm I'm gonna put what? I'm gonna put you on a phone with this guy. Ew. <laughs> He's crazy. He'll tell you about flying saucers and like chips in his head and stuff. Like just mention one little thing about it. it. His name's Flamut. Tell him you're with the U.S. government. And to look in, okay. into the sky for helicopters. Hello. 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 What's going on? Um, I'm from the U.S. government. Helicopters are coming your way. Hello? What does PSTN stand for? What does what stand for? PSTN. ESPN? Is that a packet switched telephone network? No. It, it's external. ESPN. Like pots, like plain old telephone. What? What is it again? I think PSTN is the same as POTS, plain old telephone system. I just don't know what PSTN stands for anymore. I think you blew her mind. Mm. Was there two people on here? Her mind just exploded. How are you, RBC? I'm fine. Hi, Flamut. Hi. This, this, this girl... Um, she called to tell me that um, I hit her car. <laughs> no, no, he didn't hit my car. His son peed on my car. Yeah, my son peed on the door handle and she touched it. <laughs> you should make him apologize. I did. He wrote a note and left it on her window. Good. And with the phone number. <laughs> and, and, and I've been on the phone for 32 minutes. Nice. We're BFFs now. <laughs> yeah, let's call. Did you say you want to call the boyfriend back? No, I did not. Eight one two. Eight one two. Eight one two. Five seven one. No, have, you have to erase his number. I have to. Yeah, you have to erase it. All right, I won't call him again. I apologize to him. He gets mad really easily. He sounds like, um, you know, retarded. No, he's not retarded. He's very intelligent. Why does he have um, a country music ringtone? Um, we're country. I mean, I, I, country? Gross. You should listen to ICP. You should be a junk- no, no, ICP <laughs> makes me. ICP makes me like, do my dance. Seven Eleven is Paul. You should be a juggalette. Hi, this is this is Christy at corporate office. Oh yeah, what's up? Your gas has your gas has piss in it. You need to not sell it. I can't hear you. You're breaking up. Somebody peed in your gas. <laughs> Why? You cannot sell gas. It's illegal. Cut your gas oh. off tonight. Give all your gas away for free. Oh, okay. I'll do that. Thanks. <laughs> Oh my god, I think he's going to do it. <laughs> Was that better? <laughs> yeah, I like the part where he didn't um, make bomb threats. <laughs> I bet you did. <laughs> this is a huge conference call. No way, it's like me and her. I dragged the window all the way up my screen. It shows like 15 lines. Oh, those are all the other lines we've called. So, um, her boyfriend's number's in there. It starts with 812, if you want to call him. No. <laughs> Hello? 
Hello, this is 7-Eleven. Um, hello, you need to stop serving your gas. I peed in it, and I'm naked. Pardon me? Give, give all your gas away for free tonight. It's free gas night. This is Chrissy from corporate office. Free gas night? What do you mean by free gas night? But, Nobody no. comes to corporate three, office. Don't, don't be a scam, okay? I have to call the police and the I know what, three, which, which number you are calling from. Gas. Learn English. Yes, Learn English, you son of a bitch. Which Learn number English. you are calling from, I know, and I'm going to call the police and give the, the number, your number and they, they are going to catch you up, okay? You better not call the police. You are a free call. Give gas away for free. Notice you like to be in control. So for the last chat... I am in control. Should be the director. Scam. Excellent. That was, Hello. Hi. Hello. Can you hang up. Um. Yeah. Seven Eleven's gone. I think I made him mad. You made me mad. Why? I don't know. Just you know, I was just thinking about how angry he was, and it made me angry. I started punching the wall. <laughs> what? <laughs> I started punching the wall. There's like big holes in the wall now. You were punching holes in the wall. Yeah, because I was so angry for that guy. Maybe you need therapy. Probably. I have a good therapist. I bet. You sound pretty crazy. Yeah, yeah, I'm crazy. I just care about punching holes in my wall. All the time. It's like a second hobby. <laughs> you should take pictures and put them on a blog. I should what? Take pictures and put them on a blog to prove to the world. Why? <laughs> of your wall with holes in it. Oh. That'd be kind of weird, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would. Well, I think I'm going to have to go off here for the night. Okay. Bye. Just hang up. You don't have to announce Bye. it. Just leave. Just go. Just hang up the goddamn phone. I can't hang up. <laughs> I cannot. If I hang up, you're going to be like, that's no, look. Hi, this huh? is Craig. Hello. This is Craig from the. Cor- S- shut, shut up, Christy. This is Craig from the corporate office with Seven Eleven. Okay. And um, it's we're doing their weekly customer survey. Uh, do you have a customer there I could speak with quickly? We don't have customer right now. Oh, is there one coming in? Is there one out in the parking lot? No. Um. Okay. Well, I can just wait until one comes. So we'll just we'll sit here on the phone together awkwardly. Until, okay, until, you're right. Yeah, okay, yeah, just set the phone down. When a customer comes, just put him on the phone and we'll we'll survey him. Okay. And you can tell That's him they right. get, like, a free Slurpee. Okay. Okay. <laughs> he didn't want to sit there awkwardly with me. But I cannot what? give him a uh, free Slurpee. Yeah, free Slurpees. No, I cannot. Um, well, just tell him. I'm not authorized to do this. Yeah, just tell him that it's free, but then don't give it to him for free. We're just going to trick him. No, no, I cannot do this. It's a trick. No, I'm sorry. It's okay, because you're not the one being tricked. Don't you... You can lose your job if you don't, Jorge. Is he doing it? Huh? I don't know. I hear him talking to someone. I thought it was. I thought he's gonna put someone on. Um. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get going too. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go do something productive. Oh, okay. Oh, but wait. Maybe he's coming back. Uh, I'll hang up on your phone, though. You know, I'll stop holding your lines hostage. Are you sure? Yeah. So I can hang up and it's safe. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna. I'll release it. I just have to whistle 2600 hertz. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I'll let you go then. I should, so. If you see my car, promise your son don't pee on it no more. Yeah, I won't. I'll hit him. I'll beat the shit out of him if he tries it. No, don't don't do that. <laughs> no, it's okay. He's used to it. No, don't, don't do that. 
No, really, it's okay. He's, well, he's, he's he doesn't dare object, or he knows what happens. Okay, well, I'm gonna get off of here. Um, I guess um, it was nice talking to you, and I just um, yeah, fun. you're an, you're an awesome corporate office imposter. Thanks. I'll probably have to call back and prank some more one day. Okay. Yeah. Please do. Hello? I, I oh, will. Oh, wait, uh, hi, is there a customer? You don't have to give him a Slurpee. Just put him on. Pardon me? Is there, a, is there a customer you can put on? Oh, you want to talk to the customer? Yes, please. It's for a survey for the co- the corporate office. Okay. What kind of survey are you looking for? No, I'm calling from the corporate office. I need to speak with a customer. Why is that, sir? For a survey. We have to ask them questions. Okay. Hold on. Did you forget the part where we yell at each other? Someone called from the They were looking for a survey. They were looking for what? Survey. Do you, you want to do how, a survey? How we are doing? How you were doing? Hello? Hello, ma'am. Yes. Hey, listen, that clerk, he has a crush on you, and he's too embarrassed to tell you. So, you know, do you think you could, would you think about going out on a date with him? Um, yeah. He's pretty cute. Service was great. No, no, he's cute, right? Like, you'd go out with him? Right. Yeah, service was great. Thank no, you. No, no, listen, ma'am. Okay, I gotta go. Question. Bye. It's okay? She, she, right. she turned Thanks. you down. I'm sorry. Pardon me? She turned you down. She doesn't want to go out with you. So what do you want to know, actually? So I'm going to hang up you on you. To- I'm going to hang up on you. You're not getting the girl. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs> I can't help you just did that. <laughs> I, am, I can't believe you put her on after we were arguing about Slurpees. <laughs> what an idiot. He should not be working at a 7-Eleven. <laughs> no, that's the only kind of people that work at 7-Elevens. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to get off here because I have stuff I have to do. But Okay. You well, have a nice night. I hope your day gets better. Thanks, it has. Okay, bye. Bye. The name of this entertainment is Women Lose Weight. Our first years of marriage, everything was just great. But after two kids and the weight gain factors, fact is, now she's completely unattractive. Look, fat chicks, I don't mean to sound rude. I tell her nice, hit the gym and don't eat so much food. But no. You're shallow, you need to run the course of unconditional love and so forth. But how? If desire's not there, that's just a layman. Divorce is child support, alimony payments. My unhappiness I doubt discourage, so hurry for an easier way out this marriage. Meanwhile, my secretary, June, well groomed. When you gonna leave your wife? I tell her soon, mommy, soon, I assume. Or my destiny is blue. Interestingly, the only thing left for me to do is to kill her. I'm gonna have to kill her. Send that ass right to the wall and kill her. <laughs> 